Good morning, everybody. Just sitting here enjoying my normal breakfast and coffee. The coffee is the kind where I blend it up with the coconut oil to make it a nice frothy latte, if you didn't see that story from yesterday. Good morning, everybody. So I've been thinking about something. I am three days in to showing you guys all of my food and all of my workouts in prep for this beach vacation and fitness shoot that I will be doing with uh, Chatlin Photo. So if you haven't followed him already, make sure you go follow him. Um, and so far, the first couple of days, I've been logging all of my food. I've been posting all of it on my fitness pal, and then I've been taking a screenshot at the end of the day, and I've been posting that to my YouTube at the end of my food log days. And um, I've been thinking a lot about it. It's not, it's not genuine to me to log my food like that when that's not really how I do things. Um, I have not logged my food in years and years and years. I've gotten to a place of really strong intuitive, intuitive eating where I really listen to my body and listen to what it needs. And you know, when I'm in a prep for something like a fitness shoot, I've never really relied on logging. I've relied more on just keeping my food super, super clean, listening to when I'm hungry, eating when I'm hungry, loading up on veggies, loading up on lean proteins. Um, and that feels good to me. Um, I had decided that I wanted to try logging because I thought it might be something that you guys would want to see. I figured you would want to see what my macros look like, see what my calories look like. But at the end of the day, that's not going to be what your calories look like and what your macros look like anyways. So I have decided not to continue logging my actual calories and macros. Um, it feels like it's shifting me to a place that I don't like to be with my food and that's where I'm overthinking it and and it's, it's becoming too... Um, too technical. Um, I'm a food lover even when I'm prepping. I am a food lover and I don't like thinking about it in terms of numbers. I like thinking about it in terms of what it's doing for my body, how it's healing my body, how it's making me feel. Um, and as long as I'm eating clean, and you know for me part of eating clean is not eating a ton of sugar. For me it is avoiding all of my allergies. So I don't do gluten, I don't do dairy, uh, I don't do corn, I do very little soy. Um, like I said, I focus most of my meals around veggies, fruits, lean meats, um, and healthy fats from you know olive oil, coconut oil, avocados, that kind of thing. So that is the, the decision I've come to. I hope you all uh, understand. And if you guys want that meal prepping kind of stuff, if you want to know what your macros are, what your calories should be, um, we can do a real quick calculation there. So just reach out to me and let me know. And, and if that's something that works for you, more power to you. I've just discovered that it's really not um, the healthiest thing for me. Sorry, and that's my dog. Peanut, come here. <laughs> and that's my cue. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your morning. I will talk to you soon. Prepping my lunch, I'm going to make a tuna salad with my homemade hollandaise, roast up some cauliflower, carrots, and okra, make my cucumber slaw with lemon, and then enjoy this pickled red cabbage. Yummy. So I feel like I should explain about my hollandaise that I've been using. I'm sure some people are raising an eyebrow like, that's not really healthy, but it's just kind of add in some calories, um, and I made it myself, so it's just olive oil, eggs, um, a little bit of ghee, garlic, lemon, salt, and pepper. So veggies will roast at 375. I'll put them on for 10 minutes and then kind of turn them around, flip them over, and pop them in for another 10 minutes until they are caramelized. Cucumber slaw, I'm just gonna grab some cucumber, squeeze in some olive oil, just enough to coat, and then I'll do a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic, and then I will just squeeze a lemon. And then I think I called this tuna salad. This is actually canned salmon. And then I'm going to come over here and just get a little scoop. It's nothing crazy. In fact, that's a little much. Um, and just mix that in just enough to coat. I'll mix that in better in a second. And then I will. And I did make myself another cup of coffee where I used a cup of coffee, a teaspoon of coconut oil, a little bit of pumpkin pie spice, and then added two tablespoons of collagen hydrolysate to get a little bit of protein in there, blended it all up, and it is now frothy like a latte. For dinner, I'm making a Mediterranean salmon with olives, artichoke hearts, capers, sun-dried tomatoes, and some mixed greens. And then I'm going to be making my own kale chips, roasting those at 350 for about 8 minutes, um, 8 to 10 minutes. So I started by heating up the pan in medium heat, and then I put the salmon skin side down, topped it with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and now I will cover that up for about 8 minutes or so. 
Chopping up about one and a half artichoke hearts, three green olives, 10 black olives, a little tiny handful of capers, and a scoop of sun-dried tomatoes that are packed in oil. Just tossed all the toppings in with the salmon and gonna cover and put it on low for about three minutes. And just added a small handful of greens that I will basically just kind of stir around in there until they wilt. So obviously today I didn't get a workout in. Today is my rest day. So as far as self-care is concerned, I'm gonna sit down with a book and just relax and enjoy my night with my boyfriend.